All right, I want to thank you for joining me. I'm going to jump right into this. Uh, I've been um, actually studying silica and silicon and silicon dioxide, and it's basically all the same thing, just give or take a molecule, and then it's sand or your skin, either way you want to look at it. But I've been looking at silica and how much silica there is on the planet, uh, what silica is, like it's in quartz, it's in sand, silicon dioxide, SiO2, silicon, which is in your skin, silica, which is so dense in your body, it's in your blood, it's in your membranes, it's in, it's, it's a basically the foundation for collagen, silica is, for foundation for sil silica, or for collagen to be formed. But I've been looking at lava, and uh, I discovered some amazing stuff about silica, so I'm going to explain it in my video, because well, I'll just show you something here real quick. Okay, everybody remembers these caves I did on the Rivers of Blood in my videos. Uh, and that how I claim that that is not lava flowing out of there. And this is all sandstone that cannot be a lava tube, which it's impossible. It's not. And I'm still making that claim. But I've made some amazing discoveries about silica and the content of silica in lava. And how it makes it change the viscosity and how there's no way that this could be lava flowing in the ring of fire because it's too thick. That would have to be Hawaii lava because the ring of fire lava has too much silica and it flows like peanut butter and it's super sticky. It doesn't flow at all. That's why, it may sound, that's why all of our volcanoes blow the tops off. So I'm going to get into this. I'll just let the video explain it. This is awesome. I'm going to show you one more thing though. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. Remember those rivers of blood and all that flow that was coming out here? It's all buried in the sand now. You can't see none of it. All you see is this little teeny patch here. So it's like I've claimed. If a geology came along, if they came along and this was all buried in sand, they would have never seen these flows coming out of those caves and they would have never known what we know now. That underneath this is those flows coming out. Okay, I'm going to get to the video and it will, it's, I explain in what, to you what's going on. I'm just researching my research and I've made an amazing discovery on the, on thick, on lava uh, viscosities. Okay, so, what I found out was, it was kind of by accident, I was researching lava, trying to figure out some things, and I stumbled across silica content in lava, and how silica content drastically affects the thickness of the viscosity of lava. So, here, where I am, I'm in the Pacific Rim, okay? I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the Ring of Fire. And what I found out was, the lava here is super thick, because it's got really concentrated silica. Now I'll get into silica in a minute. Silica is in your body, but it's in a different, you know, it's, it's, it's sand, it's, uh, it's in quartz, it's, it's biological is what it is. And uh, your body's absolutely loaded with silicon, silica, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same when you throw another molecule in, basically, <laughs> or take one away. <laughs> so it all basically boils down to sand when it transitions. And that's what that up in there is. That's, that's actually sand, sandstone, okay? This thing is actually made out of sandstone. It is not made out of lava. Sandstone is not volcanic, okay? Now, you can also see where some material has flowed out of here, right? You can see there's something's flowed out of here and hardened, right? You can see that. It's obvious. It's obvious. Okay. I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm having some hard time with geologists trying to show them some stuff and I just can't get it. Now, what I found out was this lava, if this was lava here in the Ring of Fire, it doesn't flow like rivers because it's too thick. It, it, it's like peanut butter. It's super th sticky. Now, you take a stuff like Hawaii. The lava in Hawaii is, is thinner. It's lower silica content and it's thinner. And it runs like, it flows like honey, like rivers of honey. And you know what I'm saying? And you've got a river of honey here. Or something with a viscosity thicker than water, which would be blood, or something like that. But it's definitely not volcanic, especially not in the ring of fire, okay? It, it, it wouldn't flow like this. It's got too high a silica content. It, it's explosive. That's why Mount St. Helens blew its top. That's why these volcanoes blow up around here, because they, they can't move the, the, the lava. It, it plugs them up. It's too thick. And that's because of this lava is pushing its way or it's made of created out of silica sand whatever you want to call it just like this and it makes it into a liquid form and it's still got the same chemistry the uh, the, the the same um the the what am i trying to say here this the same the makeup if you will the same chemistry of basically the stuff in our body you know i brought a drill and everything to drill that but you can see with your own eyes that's sandstone okay and this just has a, a, a coating on it uh, a, a real hard crust if you will, but this is sandstone. And okay, I'm gonna be going right up on, I'm gonna be right on that ledge right there, so I'm not going far. I'll be right above it and taking my samples right in there, so I, you'll know it's part of this cave right here, so. 
I'll be taking my samples right off that edge. And the rest of it's all made of the same material out there and everything. So that's where I'll be right there when I get up on top. Okay, I'll come up to this side and show you it's sandstone here. As you can see, it's all sandstone there, sandstone in here, in there, all that in there. We're coming into it right here. <laughs> and here's the thing. If this is from an extinct volcano and, there, and it's, it is lava, then the source has to be right here somewhere. It, it's got to be really close by because even if that was lava, it'd have to be a little thicker if it was for the ring of fire lava. But if it was well, just say for kicks and giggles that this is lava, then where's the source? It couldn't have flowed far. It's flowing from the east to the west, so it didn't come from the ocean inland. It's inland if it is lava and there's a volcano. So wh where's the extinct volcano? Where's the caldera? Where's, where's even any indicators inland for one? There isn't any. Everything's inland, sandstone, you know, just right off the get-go. You just go right off, on the other side of the, this park right here, the highway, it just turns into sandstone. That stuff there goes in, it just turns into sandstone, these columns and pillars and crap inland that have, they're just mind-blowing, the patterns. And, but you can't see because it's all covered with a three-stage canopy of timber and stuff, so no one even knows what's underneath all this stuff because no one goes out and walks all this. Not like I have with logging and everything and cutting timber my whole life. I've walked so much of this ground and I know what's underneath it. So anyway, I'm gonna boogie on up through here and show you this is all sandstone. Oop, bang my hat, see it right in there. Here. Here. All of it. It just, it's, if you don't, don't know what you're looking for or not paying attention, you'll miss it. It's all sandstone. Sandstone. I'm right in the light. Sorry about that. See it all? This does blood on top. It's coagulated blood is what this is. And it turns to sand too. I mean, you got silica's in, in blood too. It's in connective tissue. It's what help. It's what what's one of the building blocks, basically, or the compound or the starting for uh, collagen. And your body, where our bodies are so loaded with collagen. But look at all this sandstone in here. It's in our blood. It's in our connective tissue. It's in our muscle. It's in our bone. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. It's even lines the our cells are collagen. The lining of our cells are collagen. And that's why we're getting so much silica on the planet because everything's made of connected tissue and muscle and your it's biology. And you can see all this is sandstone down here. I'll get down here and do that sample. Alright. Okay, a lot of people. I'm gonna do this quickly, so I'm gonna show you anyway. I brought ham to get some samples here. This is all sandstone. See that? Here's some samples right off the edge like I told you I was going to do. See? It's just more coarse than the sand itself down there. It's just a, a, like a molecule difference. Or that, This actually erodes down and turns into the sand we walk on. I mean, there, it's just, it's, you can see what it, how it crumbles really easy. That's sandstone. And that's what that right there is as well. So I wanted to show you. That that's what it is, see? And all this sandstone is what it's like inland at my house. The mountains are made of this in some patterns that would blow your mind. Patterns that you couldn't even really comprehend. It's like, how did that even happen? Because it's, it's, it's biology. Show you some more here around here. Okay, so I just showed you that it's all this is this thing's made of sandstone. The cave, the inside it, all of it, it's sandstone. It's not just punched its way through sandstone, it is sandstone. So that material that flowed out of there, that's not lava, folks. I'm I'm it's not. It's not just because of the silica content alone, it would never flow like that. It would never ever ever flow like a river, like honey. Not in the Pacific Rim, not the Ring of Fire. I want you to notice the rest of this. This is all sandstone. Every bit of it.
all of this. And look at look at look at the patterns. See this? For you that haven't seen this before, I've done a video on it showing that this is not volcanic. This is sand, all sandstone. Every bit of that. Those that there is not worth impregnated with that. Um, I believe it's blood coagulated, but I'm showing you all this today to show you it's just sandstone. Yeah. But that all this is sandstone. anyway okay that's my evidence It looks so volcanic when you're walking across it. I get that part. But then you see all the sandstone? Underneath this, this is not black. It's not that color. It's just oxidized. You can see it's sandstone. When we come up here, you can just it's just solid. This is coming up from the other side this side. I came up from that side showing you, and now I'm coming up from this side showing you what it looked coming into it, what it looks like. And I'll be taking that sample right over there, or I did already, I mean. Sandstone. Hats get in the way. Got a shadow here? Boy, I got a shadow. <laughs> okay. Alright, well I've showed you my evidence as far as how I, that can't, in my opinion, there's no way that can be lava. Especially if it is lava, it can't be lava in the ring of fire. Because it wouldn't be flowing like a little thicker than water or, or like honey. Not in the ring of fire. And everything inland is sandstone on top of this also. That's why I got to supplement my goats with selenium. That's why they get my white muscle disease. Because everything's sandstone. Everything's tissue. Everything's um, made of connective tissue and skin and uh, collagen. It's basically collagen. And it converts to sand. It transitions to sand. It's like a body when it dies. You know, a body dies and decomposes. It doesn't stay the same. It becomes liquids and gases and... Things transition like crazy. That's what's happened here. Same thing, transitioned. Okay? Everything's transitioned to what we call sand here now. All right, beautiful day. I'm going to bug on out of here. I think that's about enough said. And y'all have a great day. We'll be catching you on the flip flop. And I'll be getting back up the coast here real soon and getting back to that project I got going with that connective tissue. So, peace, love, Bobby Sherman. I'm going to sign off here and you have a great day. Bye bye now.